My name is Tyler. I'm at Clarny Lake Boatworks. Right behind us, we have an early 1950s Chris Craft that we're in the middle of restoring for a client. Um, we've done some sanding, we've done filling, we've replaced planks, we've done fairing. We've conditioned the surface so we have a clean hull to work with. We're just now going to talk about paints that we use, paints that are available, different options that are out there. So for this boat, what we're going to be painting behind us, we're actually going to be using these products in front of us, is the Beauty Tone Primer and Beauty Tone Marine Paint. These are actually super readily available and very affordable for a choice of a wood boater, metal boater, or fiberglass boater. Um, it holds up really well, it applies really smooth. Other paints that we like to use is the Interlux Top Coat or Blue Water. Uh, both uh, outstanding products, uh, but you know what, honestly this Beauty Tone product uh, is just as good and the prices are pretty good. So um, let's talk about these primers and this paint. Um, so this primer starts roughly around $59.99 for a gallon and for this actual marine paint, the Beauty Tone, is $64.99 which I think is pretty good. When you're thinking on the average of like a marine paint like Interlux, you're looking at anywhere from $159 to $220 for a gallon of top coat white. Okay, for primer, uh, Interlux paint, it would run you around uh, 90 to 130 for a gallon of it. When you're painting a big boat and you're doing an estimate on how much paint you're gonna use, always go big. Don't waste your time with getting quartz and stuff. Get a gallon. Because you know what? Nine times out of ten, you're going to get 75 or 85 percent through the boat. And you're going to realize, I need more paint. And nothing is worse than having to stop a project midway just because you ran out of the materials. So, what we're going to cover today is application of this primer and this paint. Okay, so we're going to talk about primers. We're gonna bust open this primer. And uh, we're just gonna talk about it as we go along. So right now I'm just gonna crack the seal on this. Um, honestly, when it comes to paints, I'm finding that today's market for a lot of paints, they're changing the, uh, the actual tin to a plastic tin. And uh, it doesn't really hold up for time, I notice, and it doesn't take the abuse. That's like the one good thing about this product is like they're still uh, using like a metal tin uh, can. So I got this primer open. The texture of the paint is actually really nice. And uh, it's not like an overpowering smell. Some oil bases, when you're opening it up, you're like, wow, that's a lot of... Uh, like, exhaust, like fumes coming off. So it doesn't really have that much paint fume to it. Um, so yeah, let's take our brush. So I like to use like the Bennett Pure Bristle brushes. Uh, so we're gonna just spread this right on. So usually when you're putting it on, I like to put my primer on in like a thin base coat. And it usually takes a while for it to cure. I like to leave my primers for about 24 hours to 48 hours uh, just to make sure that it's a good dry coat. Then I come back, then I do another coat. So I have a good primer base on the product that I'm painting. Okay, so that's the primer. I'm gonna close this back up. Okay. Now we're gonna talk about the Beauty Tone Marine. We're gonna go apply this right on the raw surface just to show you how decent this is. So I'm gonna go open this up. Now, this one has a little bit more of a stronger smell, but overall, the color on it is beautiful. Like for the color of the white it is, it's very, it's a very nice pure white. Um, 
some paints, marine paints, when you're using them, um, sometimes they're not really a, uh, a pure white. Uh, they're kind of like a beige or like a uh, off-white. Uh, that's why I like the look of this uh, Beauty Tone Marine. Uh, for my big Chris, uh, for when I'm painting my big wood Chris Craft, I like a pure, nice white hull. This paint spreads pretty nice for a very affordable economy class paint. And you see how like with just one coat, how beautiful that is on there. It's very clean and crisp on the wood. It really takes like to the wood very naturally. Okay. So that's now been painted on there. We'll come back to that after when it dries. We're gonna close this up right now. Okay, okay. we're back. Right here is our primer wood. Right here is our hull paint, okay? Remember at the beginning of the video, when I painted this, I painted this right onto a raw wood. It looks fantastic, okay? You couldn't tell if I didn't use a primer because it just applied that good, okay? Right here, primer wood. Primer wood looks fantastic. It does like any normal primer would do. Um, so it kind of has that, that primer finish. It's not a paint, it's a primer, right? So don't get that confused. Okay, so me, just here right now, looking at these two products. I have a $64.99 uh, average, a very accessible, very affordable marine paint. I can't tell the difference between a $250 Interlux paint and this paint. Okay, my clients, when they look at the difference between the Beauty Tone and the Interlux, they can't really tell the difference besides just the name brand. Okay, so right now we got our primer, we got our paint. What's the next thing we gotta do? We gotta go paint this hole, okay? So right behind me, I got this trim piece. I wanna paint this, okay? What kind of paint tape am I gonna use for this boat? Okay, one of the biggest things, don't buy cheap tape. You know what's the worst thing ever? You rip the tape off and then you damage the paint. Or you rip the paint off and it leaves a residue behind. Or you try to rip the paint off, or the, the tape off and the tape rips and then you're just working it, trying to take off little pieces of it, okay? So I have two brands of tape that I like to use. I have Painter's Mate. It's this green tape. It advertises that it can come off really easy, which it does. Uh, the only issue is Sometimes it comes off when you don't want it to come off. And when you're painting a wood boat or doing varnishing or anything with an oil-based paint, that's the least thing you want ever in a product. So, what's reliable? What is What has an amazing name that has changed the boating world forever in the industry? 3M, the inventors of 5200. They can make a solid tape. So, I have my Scotch tape brand right here. Okay, we're gonna go in. I'm now taking it right off. Look at this, comes off really nice and firm. Okay. I'm going to apply the Scotch tape right on to the line. You know what I like about Scotch tape? When I'm going around and I'm taping off trim, I'm a perfectionist. Maybe I want to move that tape. You know what scotch tape can do? I can take it right off and I can put it right back on with the same stick power that I had when I took it off the roll initially when I put it on the boat. That's a wicked product. I also find that the paper quality on it is actually a really stronger kind of paper because when you buy cheap stuff, you're going to pay in the long run. So, if you want the best, buy the best to expect the best. Okay, so, we've covered the paint, we've covered the primer, we've covered the masking tape, what's next? Well, we gotta paint this boat. Stay tuned for the episode coming up, where we're gonna paint this hull, we're gonna get it looking fantastic, we're gonna be using the Beauty Tone primer, the Beauty Tone paint, and we're gonna paint this boat, make it look like it should. 
My name is Tyler. I'm with Clarny Lake Boatworks. Follow us, like, subscribe on Instagram and YouTube. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks. Mm -hmm.